Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Expeditions Viking. Alright, into the hall we go. It's time to face Ethelred himself. Ethelred jumps up from a strategic meeting and points a finger accusingly at his guards. Useless donkeys, you're supposed to be my best soldiers, and yet you let heathen raiders slip undetected into my hall. Just how in the... He scrunches up his face as it hits him. Of course, the river! Your defenses are woefully inadequate to stop a longship. Don't worry, your people did their best to stop us. They died well. With Odin's help, we have crushed your pathetic defenses. Soon you will all belong to the Allfather. Don't worry, your people did, the best, did their best to stop us. They died well. You fought your way past our inner defenses all by yourselves? Impressive. The king spares Wada a brief, annoyed glance. Yes, killing you will be a g great shame, but you will die for this. Wada, I know your loyalties are second to your pragmatism. Perhaps we can make a deal. Your throne looks so comfortable, Ethelred. I can't wait to see how it fits me. Enough talk. Your reign ends now. Uh, hey, Wada. How's it going? Ethelred snorts derisively, but Wada's eyes widen slightly. He's listening. Diplomacy 5. Ethelred has outlived his usefulness. If we fight here now, we will win and he will die. There's no reason you should die with him. We've come to kill Ethelred and end the war. Leave the hall now and you will be spared. Eh, let's go with this one. Ethelred looks like he's about to combust. How dare you talk like that! I am the king of Northumbria! Wada crosses his arms. He appears to be anticipating your next words. You should choose them carefully. Sense hard. Uh, I do have a nine cents. Paint a picture of a unified north under Costantin, and Wada's a very important place in it. Sense succeeded! Yay! Bringing the full measure of your eloquence to bear, you quickly and efficiently describe the future of Northumbria with Ethelred gone, with Wada elevated to the position of sub-king. Ethelred attempts to cut you off at several points, but you deftly sidestep his interruptions and continue until even Ethelred's own personal guard <laughs> looks like they're buying it. Is that me over there talking? Wow. Finally, Wada uncrosses his arms and clears his throat. You notice his hand resting gently on the hilt of his dagger. And all these things you describe, they are not merely hypothetical, one presumes? I swear that it will come to pass if you aid me. Sounds like we understand each other. Oh, and Wada King's Ethelred. Well, better than me doing it, I suppose. It's over in the blink of an eye. One moment, King Ethelred uh, I of Northumbria fumes with impotent rage. The next, he lies on the ground, clutching his slit throat. Wada lets his eyes glide analytically across the royal guards. No weapons are raised to avenge the fallen king. Wada sheaths his dagger and relaxes. The chronicles will show that his majesty was slain by the Viking Elmendreda, all daughter of Skern. Tragic. Oh, I don't get to loot the place? Ah, uh, many hours pass as the battle rages on. Eventually, the Picts break through and capture Eorforwick. No, oh, I don't know if I goofed up. Hey, I can loot it now. Wood, tar, and ladder. I was clicking Alt as it happened. Is it tar? What do you got here? Cloth armor and hide armor. Not very good. Cloth armor. Do, do, do. Ah, reaching through the wall. Tripwire. A vial. My stuff now. It's all mine. 38 valuables. Tar. Not quite the uh, goods that I expected here, to be honest. Sika, Aldwine. Andruda. What's your name? 
Oop dread. I guess Wada isn't around. All right. Out we go. Not much here. I guess he spent all his money on uh, on the war efforts. See, look, if, if they had just decided not to go to war with each other, everything would have been copacetic. They could have sent their uh, uh, soldiers to help me out. But you know, that's what happens. There's Costantin. But I want to look around to see if there's anyone else that we can interact with. You know what? I'm going to head in there, see if there's anything inside. If anything has changed. I think it's a great shame that I wasn't able to loot this place. Well, now I can. Well, that's stealing. Huh. It was... I thought it was gray for a second there. Oh, well. Looks like Morkant is nowhere to be found now. Kire is nowhere to be found either. Not surprised. Oh, hey, the uh, this was the the thieves. Uh, little set of houses, and and their house is on fire. Well, can't actually get back onto my ship. I don't see anything else that I can interact with, which is unfortunate. Uh, so I want to put that out, maybe. I don't know. It seems like something you might want to do. All right, Costantin. How, how are we getting out? Well, apparently no one opened the doors, the gates. Seems... Seems like maybe you should have done that. Well, I guess the... Uh, the stakes are still there. Costantin is watching his surroundings with worry and weariness. He straightens up a little when you appear at the in the gate. You've done well. It was a long fight. We lost many people, good people. But you've done well. This was a short war for us. Two battles and done. And it's been a trying time for everyone. I'm glad it's over. Not quite over for us, I'm afraid. But I will ask no more of you. We have much mopping up to do in the outer shires. Consolidating our power here will be a long and tedious process. What happens next? Now we fortify you for wick against any counterattack from the south. Most of our army will, will disband. The men will be glad to return to their farms for the harvest. I've spoken to Wada. I understand he saved you quite a fight in Ethelred's Hall. I can't say I like the thought of working with a Kingslayer, but you made him a promise and it will be kept. Well, you know, you can always assassinate him. If you play your cards right, you may end up the new ruler of Eofolk. I would give it to you up front for your service, but there are many political concerns to be accounted for. Have I finally earned your full support? 
Aye, I will grant you all support I can for your struggles in Jutland. Up to and including a levy of warriors to defend your village. No one can dispute that you've earned that. A thought occurs to Costantin. Some of his usual energy returns to his eyes. There is one final matter to settle before we part, Almadrena. Oh? The victory feast! Must we attend? Music to my ears! Oh, yes. Aye, we could all use a little rest and merriment, and a lot of ale to wash down all the violence of the war. Here's to the future. New quest. Attend Costantin's victory feast in Perth. The feasts will be held in the streets of Perth, and you and your people are invited to dine with me and my family in my own hall. It's a great honor, your majesty. Anything less would be unworthy of your services to my kingdom. We will see each other again in Perth, Elmadreda. Godspeed. Gunner gently pulls you aside. A victory feast, hmm? That could be the opportunity we've been waiting for. What do you mean? These people have already suffered great losses in the war. Now they're all going to gather in one place and get drunk. If we were there to... If we were to turn on them during the feast, they would be all but defenseless. You two may want to think about what kind of resources it would take to mount such an attack. This won't be a mere raid. We have to capture and then hold a large territory. That sort of thing simply can't be done with the ships at our disposal. You're right, it's a shame. This would, this would have been a good opportunity. It doesn't matter. I would not betray this alliance, even if we did have the power to invade. Uh, honorable followers have gained morale. Cunning and aggressive followers have lost morale. Nefya! God damn it! <sighs> the, allies, the allies we've gained through our actions here will make us a force to be reckoned with in the, at the all thing. We need, we need nothing more than this. Yeah. That's kind of how I feel. Uh, taking it all over would be for the uh, um, evil playthrough. Where we basically just, like, betray everyone. Here's to the future. Ah, still did not find out what became of my father's herd. What did I miss? Hmm. I mean, was it something that I didn't talk to someone about? Just right, maybe? I don't know. I might have to, uh... I check something, but I should probably wait until uh, I'm done with the game, to be honest. Alright, well, it's time to make our way north. Uh, I guess this one is closest. Alright. Well, I kept Morkant alive. I feel good about that. All right. I don't think there's anything else that we haven't really looked at, so... All right, one day, 16 hours. Everyone has gone hungry. You make a small stop to rest near a pond. It still waters look dirty, and most of your herdmen avoid it. But Idis hazards a drink. Ah, Idis, you should know better. Suddenly, Kettle bolts out of the brambles and jerks Idis away from the pond. You idiot, how much did you drink? What? What's wrong with you? How much? I don't know. A lot. Why? There's a dead deer rotting in the reeds over there. You're going to be sick. Idis shrugs it off at first, but once you move out, she begins to look quite unwell. She now has a moderate infection of the chest. Oh, boy. Alright, well... Make our way up through Mile Castle 39. Gain some more valuables. It's the 26th of August. Yep, let's go ahead and camp. Alright, uh... Oh, that must have t that did take damage at some point. All right. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and dismantle that for seven hides. 
That for 15 hides. That for 8 hides. That's good. No one is assigned to clean. Well, maybe I don't care about... Well, actually, no, let's see. Alright. Let's go ahead and heal. Go ahead and rest. And then you can clean. Well, in that case, you can preserve. And we will repair that, uh, that helmet later. Alright. She has an infection of the chest, but, uh, <laughs> she still cooks for us. She's, hel uh, she's healthy now. 49 rations, uh, lost 10 meat, 13 medicine. That's fine. Wow, that is quite a few things. Alright. Let's go grab them. Uh, 13 wood. 13 wood. And 13 wood. Alright. Uh, Gunner. Roskva. Nafia. Ify. And Kettle. Being damaged, like, means it's not working quite as well. I think it just means that uh, it's closer to falling apart. Alright. Never did find what to do with this thing, so let's go in there and check it out. idea. I mean, that's got to be for something, but... I don't know. Definitely something that I have missed, I think. Whoops. That was the wrong button. I think there's one of these that I must have missed, too, so... I don't know. Alright, in we go. All of Pictavia seems to have gathered in Perth. Tables stacked with food fill the courtyards, and the banners of all the clans line the streets. The King's Hall is host to the leaders of the, all the clans who fought in the war. You arrive with your herd shortly after sunset and are led into Costantin's Hall. The King himself is there to greet you. Welcome, welcome, El Elmadretta. Please take a seat and enjoy the ale. Yes, we shall eat and drink until we pass out. We've earned it. Ah, we picks do pride ourselves on our capacity for drink. It's good to finally have some competition. 
You and your companions lay claim to one end of the table, and freshly brewed ale is generously poured from nearby casks. Now that the hall is full, the king has a short speech and the food is brought out. Eat, drink, and be merry. It's nearing midnight and the meal is almost over, but the caskets of ale appear to be bottomless. The king is checking on each of his guests in turn and makes his way eventually to you. I'm so glad you're here, El Madreda. This isn't just a celebration of our victory against Northumbria. It's also, a, in a sense, about you. The king is orating now, and the talk among the clan leaders silences respectfully. You and your people were instrumental in the war. What most here may not know is the extent of your services to the crown even before the war broke out. Your deeds have been a lesson to us all not to judge a woman based on the reputation of her kinsmen. Your fellow Vikings had brought much death and sorrow to our lands. They burned our churches, they raped our women, they took us as slaves. Many around the table nod heavily. They've all lost people to the raids. We had no reason to expect more of you. However, you defied all our expectations. You came to us in a troubled time, and you risked much to forge an alliance. Our peoples have much in common. It is, it is my honor to help bring us together. I merely acted in the interest of my own clan. Well, you clearly needed it. Your kingdom was in a sorry state. Yeah. Our people have much in common, and it is my honor to help bring us together. Spoken like a true explorer, and a fine diplomat. A toast to Elmendred and her crew. Such a more... Uh, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> he's, he's a little drunk right now. The salute echoes around the table as every Pict raises their cup to your health. And then we murder them. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe you have to finish something up. Uh, achievement unlocked. Hero of Pictavia. Your reputation with the Picts has increased by 20. The Picts consider you respected. Hmm. The rest of the celebrations are a bit of a blur. You recall a few fragments of merriment. Gunner dancing on a table. I had no idea. You had such a fine figure, Gunner. Nephew is starting to fight with some clan leader's son. Ify treating the resulting injuries. The next morning, you assemble in front of the King's Hall, laden with treasure. The guards at the door smile and greet you with genuine respect. What now? Where do we go from here? Home. We go home. It's time to return to Skjern and attend the Althing. We're ready. Our work here is done, but this land holds more possibilities for us still. Hmm. Let's see. Did it? Did it save it? It did. Uh, we got five more skill points too. Well, let's save this for now. Home. We go home. It feels unreal in a way. After all this time, all that we've accomplished here. Uh, let's see. All followers have gained morale. Your reputation with the clansmen has increased by 20. Quest completed. Here's to the future. The All Thing. Return to Skarn and speak to Astrider to end your adventures in Britain. You have at last achieved what you set out to do. The British Isles may still hold opportunities for you, but the day of the All Thing is approaching and you must attend. Okay, so this is not going to give me anything specific, I don't think. I'm kind of tempted to, like, look around and see if I can figure out what I missed. It may not be something that I can do, you know, it, it might be because I, I, like, genuinely missed something. I don't know. Oh, uh, that's a pretty nice view. I actually always kind of figured that there would be something to do with this group here, although they're not actual people. I mean, it's bugging me about what's inside this house here, too. Uh, let's talk to Mirthen. Maybe he has something to say now. Probably not. Yeah, nothing right now. 
Alright. Well. Uh, I'm up to 50,000 valuables. I guess I'll see if I can get any more. Take a look at your wares. Give me fair prices. do that. There's nothing else I need to, uh... Bye. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we'll take all of his valuables. I got almost 60,000. Is there anything else? You have no values. All right. All right. Well, um, that's still stealing. Yeah, I, I think I will take a look just a uh, real quick, see if I can figure out what I may have missed uh, with my to, to find out what happened to my father. Pop out to the world map, save it, and I'll take a quick look in between episodes. Because I, I do really want to finish that up if I can. Uh, and I think we've got enough time. Yeah. It, it, well, depending on how far away we, you know, it, it is and everything like that. Can get back to Yoferwick. Trying to remember exactly what else we found. Because I don't think, I mean, other than the uh, the monasteries, none of these things show up on the map until something is triggered. These show up on the map if you get close to them, and the, the camps do. Uh, but nothing else does, so... I don't think that there's really anything else that I could have discovered. Just, like, by not wandering around enough. And I've been to all the camps, so. All right. Uh, but that will be next time. See you then, everyone.